you are watching my channel tech zone and diy please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you very much so in today's project we are gonna convert this uh, 55 inch samsung led tv my kids have broken the lcd within a month it has been lying for years here the project was i am gonna put this uh, on top of the dining table so that it provides uh, a big lighting source i am gonna put in normal white leds gonna use built-in leds and i'm gonna install some extra uh, color leds so that you can generate the color of your choice so i have here these two small blocks and the board will rest on top of this on this side on the other side i'm using this uh, wood here so this will go here so that it doesn't bend on this end i will put in couple of screws only and then i am gonna put uh, this piece of wood on this side just outside it and put in couple of screws there as well and that will hold this platform in place and for some extra production so i put in this stuff here and on the way in so that it, this doesn't bend okay so this is kind of done so this is a makeshift hanging by the thread i believe but uh, it's okay it's gonna just support the tv and i'm gonna put some uh, heavy cloth on it all right so i have laid this tv here now i'm gonna just turn it over and dismantle the back cover all right so there is a small hole here this is how you take off the bracket you put something in and lift it up on this side so put this in so it has lifted now you put some some plastic stuff inside all the way in and then So these are the speakers they are pretty nice 20 watts two of them which i'm gonna use i'm gonna use left right speakers for from here and this is the motherboard i will not need that at all but this is brand new so i'm gonna sell it this is the power supply so i will see how much voltage the uh, leds are taking and based on that voltage then i will see what i'm gonna do with the current leds i don't want to use this power supply i want to sell it it will fetch me 100 bucks Okay, so these are the connections for the LED and uh, the board tells you that this is 109 volt DC so this is uh, point 0.1 this is minus this is plus so there are four sets of LEDs inside so one set two set three set and four set and rest are not connected probably they are for the larger uh, TV maybe 65 inch and this these are uh, four connectors we say 109 but when I measure it they really go 94 95 96 so anywhere uh, 90 plus volts will shine the LED really really nice so these are different power supply that I have this is what I see here is this is the LEDs that I take out from the bulbs 
different LEDs that I have so probably I will try to use these LEDs which I have taken out from uh, the normal 110 volt LED bulb which had gone bad the LEDs had burnt and I will try to connect these one by one and then see whether it lights up I have made this connector so this is how it goes there are eight slots so this goes plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus in this configuration the second pins are all in minus which is ground so I connected all those pins together this one like a loop around this one so these are the connectors these are very tiny connectors the thick connectors will not fit in really so if uh, these are the connectors like these the normal type of connectors they will not fit in these are the thin ones which are gonna fit in nice so and then i made two pairs one on the left side of the led and one on the right side so there are two stripes so one is connected this way and the loops to this way and the another one independent goes there so these two are connected and they are independently connected to the power supply that I took it out I took it out from the LED bulbs and these pins they are tiny they're small they just slide in into the original slots very nicely and then just put a hot glue around it and then it works magic this is how it looks so this is uh, how it looks is uh, pretty bright actually and uh, now I have to just uh, close this stuff but I am gonna put uh, the uh, lighting cover which I got from Home Depot on top of this one because it's missing the LCD and there is a gap inside so and then to work as a more diffusing light so I'm gonna put uh, that uh, uh, light panel cover I got from Home Depot so now the connections are kind of finished so what I have done here I have put in this connector that I shown earlier and then I put a lot of uh, hot glue on top of it and it forms a mold all around it and then it will not move during the installation and this is these are the power supply I installed them on top of the board like this and then I put this is the live wire this is the neutral so from the live wire the connection goes to the live side of this uh, these bulb power supplies and this is the neutral which goes to this one and these are connected underneath this board and then uh, this uh, gets energized and this is the output 94 volts each side and I have connected the neutral negative side of it from here to there through under side of it and I am just uh, connecting all the neutrals in one go but the uh, power which is positive side so half of it goes uh, to one side and half of it goes to the other side and now so this is full uh, TV switched on and uh, once uh, I have done it I am just gonna cover uh, this part the live part so during the installation even if I touch somewhere here it doesn't uh, hurt me so to say and this covers all the active parts and as well as uh, this part just in case I don't want to accidentally touch it or accidentally but this is very so this is how it is covered and this is very low than uh, the main uh, stuff so there is this much gap underneath so the power to this one comes from here 
this is for the LEDs which goes up to there and this one is uh, coming to this uh, RF relay and that goes inside and this is uh, a power connector that I took from dollar store it's pretty nice actually and that serves my purpose so this is I'm gonna just uh, uh, hook it up uh, in the uh, live wire that I have uh, for the home electricity uh, where I have the top bulb right now over, over the top of the dining table so this will get connected there and once it first I'm gonna connect this and then I will connect this and then I'm gonna slide everything in so until that is done I'm not uh, 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 I'm just doing it for the demo purposes and once I connect this part so I'm gonna put in uh, some hot glue underneath this one a long one and uh, so this will not move afterwards so I will have to just lift this uh, uh, TV frame up it's, it's not that light and not that heavy as well but it's bulky and it moves it bends a bit so i have to make sure uh, that everything is uh, uh, done nicely so i have built uh, this frame out of a two by three which i got from home depot and uh, i cleaned one side of two by fours this one side is rounded in the corner so i just took off maybe one eighth of the material here so now this is sharp edge this will go on the top so that it sits flush to the drywall this will not sit flush to the drywall and uh, so uh, it will look nicer and underneath here this is the lower part so this will go like this on the top so the rounded the rounded portion will be will be on the down downward side and, and this one go up so this is this frame is uh, which is this one surrounded this will be on the lower side and I will just install it on the top and then uh, I'm just uh, putting very nice uh, stuff in here I'm gonna paint it nicely I will take out all the bad parts I will see what material I'm gonna fill in and then I have joined uh, these corners and put in staples so that this does not move and also I put in those uh, cross things so that this frame this is all in a square and uh, once it this is this was in a square it's still wet I just put these uh, in so that uh, this thing will not move on the corner here I am gonna put uh, this is screw little bit inside like this so one one here from this end to this end another one down there from this end to that end so I'm gonna do it this corner as well as this corner this corner is uh, this uh, wood part is uh, a slide out so it, there will be some a screw here only just one a screw there and one screw on that corner and uh, this is move, removable so you can just take it out once I take it out and put the frame up first put the frame up then I will take that that portion out this one and then uh, that will give me a space uh, to put in the TV I'm gonna also install these uh, uh, angle stuff so two on the long side and two on the wide side so the TV will sit on top of these they, I'm gonna install eight of them and uh, this will hold the TV up there all right so now I have made the outer frame I cut these parts they look little bit apart now because it's just loosely placed together and this frame will stay on the outside and this is gonna be painted black and the underneath these guys will be painted white 
and I'm gonna put them up first and finish them nicely and paint them white and then I'm gonna place this board on top of that with very fine nails and uh, then finish them up so this project is pretty much done the only thing is the installation on the top that will follow soon so now I have installed this uh, frame on the rooftop so this is still empty because I need to push the TV from this side and that will go in and then I'm gonna close it and then what I have done here I have put in the recessed holes inside and then I mark the studs on top of this one this one here and this one here same on the other side all right so I have installed this stuff now the TV is on as I told the connection were made and uh, this is resting on these uh, hooks here like this one here that one over there this one so there are eight of them all around it and this is Samsung TV so this is all done and now I have to install the perimeter around it which will have the LED facing upwards so that uh, there is no direct light that will be all indirect around it all right so this frame is kind of ready so this will go on the main frame that is holding the TV and underneath uh, this is the frame that will go in this is the bottom portion and on the top of this one it's all white so I'll show you that in a moment so on the bottom side this is all white there are some marks here and there but this will go uh, where the LEDs will sit in and uh, that will be facing the roof side so keeping it white so that uh, it uh, shines properly and uh, that, that's all actually and I'm gonna install the LEDs on top of this this bottom portion is the one which is kind of removable and just in case if I had to some because of any reasons take out this TV from the frame then I can remove this part and uh, the other one that is on the frame just unscrew that one and pull it out all right so these are the LEDs that I put around inside and outside so this is giving good impression Thank you.